Well, hi, everybody. Uh, it's your old pal Gurley here. Oh boy, it's been a it's been a day. So I was thinking, you know, what better way to bring everything down and to play pub encounter? Chapter seven: A person of true beauty. Look at his little blush. Guys, this studio that makes these games, I was looking up their website and they have got who dog? Do they got some other good games that I might I might be willing to shell sixteen dollars for? Mm, that's it. Mm, maybe I don't know. <laughs> uh, Hodo. Uh, he's voiced like Vegeta. I don't know how long I'll be. Able Hang on. <clears throat> I got a deep voice today, kind of. <clears throat> I see. Uh, Mamaru. That's this guy. That's uh, freaking. Pegasus. No. Or is that him? I think this is Mamoru. <laughs> no. He's Hideki, isn't he? He's Mamoru. So, he got to her first. Hmm. Man, how disappointing. <laughs> I know. It's too sad seeing it happen for real now. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I'd really appreciate a little less teasing. If you can't decide, I'll get you something. Huh? She's always like that. She's always just like, oh, oh, oh. oh, oh my god. Soichiro, get Gurley a velvet hammer. I think you got the velvet hammer, Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, something to tell you how I feel. It's my dick in a box. My dig in a box, baby. Sorry. We're not strangers anymore. I've totally, totally banged you. Explored your inner regions and all that. <laughs> Since we're out together, let's not make it all about work. What do you want? I'll go with strawberry shortcake. Yes, bitch. Did you say that was your favorite too? I just want to have the same thing as you, Ryu. <laughs> love how these little offhanded- He's Patrick. I love how all these little offhanded things you say like that can make me so happy. I'm really happy, SpongeBob. <laughs> Saturday will be a holiday, so I thought we'd have plenty of time to discuss your work. Are you sure you don't mind? I want that dick. <laughs> of course not. We can even have dinner together and dessert afterwards. Okay, can you stop with the Indian and you in Indiana, Indiana Jones, Indy? Okay, can you stop? Okay, I'll take you up on that. <laughs> when I got out of the bath, my room was filled with the scent of warm butter. Girl, run. <laughs> Rich, creamy butter. Is there anything better? After I changed into my pajamas and went back out, my eyes read Ryu's gaze. Ryu, why do you have a stick of butter? The second his sharp gaze weakened, it changed to one of tenderness. Tender like a steak. I can't keep looking at you from only a business perspective. I'm a man, after all. <laughs> I'm a businessman, and you, baby, are my business. It's because you are sweet. Guys, shut up. Ugh. Oh, good. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I, I, guys, I'm glad we went with this boy because I like him, and he voices what I'm thinking and feeling. Oh, shit. Are we doing a, are we doing another flippin' sex scene. I think Hulk Hogan- okay. Hulk Hogan? The one person I have in chat says Hulk Hogan. Okay, that's fine. Ah! Mmm! Ooh! Ryu! Hey! Yuzi and Girly, good to see you! <laughs> hmm, it's been a while, hasn't it, Ryu boy? You both look well, both of you. Both of you look well, and well do you look both. 
Speaking of which, I believe your poster's changed recently. Oh yes, that's right. We were just talking about them and that sweet ass you have on the cover. Although I don't feel good when I think about all the guys here staring at your posters. Then why did you ask me to do it in the first place? To remind myself that you don't belong to only me. Oh, guys, this this boy is like so good. He's like... Wait, what's his follow-up line? Huh? No, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. I like him. He's a good boy. We naturally naturally exchanged a smile and tightened the grip of our intertwined hands. This is so freaking sickeningly cute. Just stop. And for Miss Dyes, a Bellini. Which will get you shit-faced much quicker than a Guinness. Especially because women love sales, you know, bitches be shopping. <sighs> okay. Is it weird to say that girly di the, our protagonist here is less of a feminist than the boyfriend we're going after? Anyway, I'm sorry for not being around lately. It's okay. I know it's not your fault. I'm happy that you're staying busy. I'm totally staying busy too! <laughs> okay, this girl is getting a little too caught up in the fact that he's working on a pair of underwear. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Chick, calm down. It's okay. He probably still loves you. Happy music again. We're fine. Is our relationship so shallow that we'd grow apart from something like that? <laughs> it's definitely over. <laughs> that will make you the very first person to wear the new clothing. Oh my god! <laughs> I talked about my impression of Gilbert Godfrey. Only the spot with the clasp was a little irritating. <laughs> Jafar, if you fix that, it'd be perfect. I chose and ordered my cake, and, it, and until it was ready, we continued to chat. Did you see the new Rick and Morty? Yo, oh my god, Swifty! I chose a Mont Blanc. A Mont, a Mont, Mont Blanc. A Mont Blanc. <laughs> I promised to get us a private room, too. Ooh, ah. Great, I can't wait to do another sex scene with Hulk Hogan. Oh, ho, ho, ho. girly sure is popular. Maybe I should try to get in her pants as well. It sounds as if you've been waiting for this day for a long time to come. Revenge for the destruction of planet Vegeta. <laughs> yeah, that has always been very disappointing to me. That Vegeta has never been able to, like, kill Frieza satisfyingly. I feel like, you know, he was tortured by him as a kid. Frieza blew up his home planet and his entire... My, thank you. He kisses my, and Goku's like, "What is he doing with her? Li his lips?" And Vegeta's like, "Um, you haven't done that. Like, seriously? I'm pretty sure Chi Chi had to ride his dick when he was asleep or something. I don't know what happened. <laughs> like, oh god, I don't know. Anyway, let's get back to this nonsense." Uh, God. Anyway, I don't even remember where we are. Love to share one with girly myself, Kaiba boy. I mean, Ryu. Ryu. <laughs> Shooing Hideki off, Ryu nodded and linked close to my ear. Oh boy, guys. Oh no! Can I come over tonight? <gasps> Still doing nothing but making mistakes. How does she keep her job? Lately, it's been getting particularly depressing. <laughs> I'm a complete moron. Entire company is revolving around you. Oh my god! He named a brand after us, and actually, Girly is a great name for underwear. I would buy a brand called like, Girly, sure. My love, my gratitude, everything else, all of those intangible feelings I poured into this underwear. <laughs> what the? Uncommonly harsh words, Ryu pushed me down onto his bed. Ooh, he's getting rough. Wow. Pan danced about my chest. <laughs> you want to hear the sound of a man's hand dancing around on a pair of tits? Here it goes. Hold on, tap dancing. That was done with my hands, not my actual tits. Everyone keep your penises in pants. Or whatever you have in your pants. Anyway. 
I'm not at all go good at it. Does that feel good? No, I'm... Okay, I guess I'm pretending that it is. <laughs> Ooh, ah, yes. Hit my tits some more. It feels good. Ooh. <laughs> uh, wait, not there, brother. Why not? I can tell you like it. Did he just poke her butthole? Did, we, did he just poke her butthole? Whenever Ryu got aroused, his tone of voice... Uh... His tone of voice ever so slightly changed, like a sign. <laughs> it went higher. Do you remember your brother? He talked just like this! Kind of a cute picture. It's okay. Again, I don't... Why is there, like, a little hyphen around his mouth? Also, look how tired he looks. Also, what's this line right here for? Does he have an eye eyelash in his eye right there? Because freaking Vigo Morganston was like 45 when he became Aragorn, and he looked like he could go all night long. Ooh, we're not gonna talk about we're not gonna talk about Vigo. Sorry. And why are you crying? I just feel so loved. I know. Lo I know love is invisible, but somehow I feel like I can see it. And that just made me so happy. Oh, go! And let me tell you, girl, it was the best sex of my life. For a 41 year old man, he wasn't half bad. The sensual stimulation wouldn't allow me to continue my words. Lies. Girly! <laughs> He's saying it like that, guys. That's what happens in sex. Ryu's hand stroked my head and his. Oh, that's. Ooh? Uh, what is this feeling, brother? Ah, ah, ah! Early! Come together with me! Ah! So, when I was a kid, uh, this has to do when he said, There's a weight off my shoulders. When I was a kid, there was a time when I was like 13 years old, never said the word boob in my entire life at this point. I was very sheltered, very quiet 13 year old me and my cousins were making a really stupid uh uh video be glad my generation that youtube didn't exist at that time because we would be super embarrassed but we were making a video because we used to watch daytime tv a lot um so we were we were making remaking divorce court you know like um uh judge judy or whatever so i was the judge and like they were saying stuff and it was funny or whatever and the camera turns to me, and I just look at the camera, and I go, Whew! That takes weight off my boob! And the camera immediately cut off, and I get... My cousins will not drop that. That's like... <laughs> that's my catchphrase, I guess. Hey, hey, look at that! We got the best end! Woo! Yeah! That's awesome! That's great! We got the best end! That means that this is our last chapter, guys! Woohoo! And we got the best end because we got a high likability! That's awesome! Guys, he's so good! He's such a good boy! You can't see my hand, but I'm patting him on the head. Pat, pat, pat. Try to dig down inside yourself. Pull out the veins and the hearts and give them to me. All bad girls have to get eaten, you know. Holy shit, Ryu! Where'd that come from? Have you been talking to Mamoru? Don't let Mamoru tell you these dirty things. Ryu! Are you gonna get... We gonna get, we gonna get we go we are we gonna we gonna get our pussy eaten tonight? <laughs> oh no! Oh guys, I'm really sorry. I have no idea if we're gonna get like a really raunchy. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I don't know what's gonna happen. He was just talking about eating her out, and now we're talking about stuff. If there's oh geez, I really hope there's no cutscene. I'm freaking out a little. <laughs> Look at that fulfilling each other. We just had sex all day. Okay. No cutscene, that's great. The dried radishes? <laughs> and now for something completely different. And so any, and it's probably good to say it with all you hear. Oh my god! <gasps> guys! Guys, he's gonna propose! Oh my god! He gonna propose! Would you marry me? Oh my god! Where is her face? This is fine, but where is her face? I don't have a face! I vow to spend the rest of my life loving you. 
I'll never, ever let you go. We'll be together now and forever. Awesome. Hey, there's a sequel. We're not gonna do it. <laughs> uh, I had a good time. We did it a lot. We had a lot, of, a lot of juicy. Oh God, we had a lot of good, good sex, and we're proposed to, and just things are. Well, things are just looking a okay. So, um, maybe on another surprise stream, I'll do a, uh, a uh, part two of this. But I think we're gonna end the stream for today right here. I hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll see you around, folks.